Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. What's up awesome people? So it's been less than a week. The 5T has been around and there's already a custom ROM based on a stock ROM which has all the features you'll ever need. So the usual drill, if you go to the description, you will find a link for this custom ROM known as Freedom OS. And this is the very first version. So it is powered by 7.1.1. It has the Aroma installer. You can customize the complete install process. It has a sound mod. It has Magisk Super SU safety net equipped. So basically all the features of all the modifications that you will ever need on a custom ROM to, you know, maybe install exposed or all the other stuff. And you know, that's the download or that's the instructions to go ahead and install it. So the link for this particular thread is mentioned in the description. And uh, I would highly recommend you to have a look at this thread, read through it before you flash it and uh, do thank the developers for their amazing work because i'm using this rom since last night and it is as good as uh, the stock rom everything is extremely stable so you can click on the same link i did and uh, download the rom and save it to a location of your choice on your computer and uh, you can directly download it to your phone as well now remember the prerequisite here is you should be on an unlocked bootloader you should have twrp if you don't already have twrp click the card on the top right hand corner to watch that video and install twrp for your oneplus 5t now the second thing that we'll need apart from the rom is a custom kernel why we should do this well the kernel package with the rom is good enough but this kernel has given me better performance and better battery backup compared to the stock one and it has a lot of tweaks you know i mean i would recommend you to give it a shot it's, it's really worth the effort so download this kernel as well and keep it in your folder now remember to download the zip file keep it at a location of your choice now once everything is done all you need to do is you need to connect your phone to the computer and copy both the files to the internal storage of your phone now back up all your data because when we flash this particular ROM, it will erase everything except the internal storage. So assuming that you've copied both the files to your phone's memory and you are on the blue spark TWRP. Let's boot into TWRP and let's see the install process. All right. So the phone is in TWRP. The files are in there. First, we're going to do a wipe. So let's go to advanced wipe. We're going to wipe everything except internal storage and uh, so select all the options except internal storage and swipe to wipe swipe to wipe swipe to wipe sounds funny eh all right so the wipe is done and uh, we're going to install the rom first so scroll down click on install and scroll down locate the rom file tap on it and swipe to install swipe to install all right so what that will do is basically that will launch the aroma installer now choose your language uh, i'm sure most of you would like english because there's no other language that i know so it's up to you choose another language if you wish to and that's all the information of the rom there and next up uh, click on install pretty self-explanatory all right so agree to the terms and conditions so this is the first option that we're going to look at uh, you can choose whatever you like. I would recommend a clean install and I would recommend you to remove the pin and all the other options. Now over here, the good thing is you can choose option one include or option two exclude. So I'm going to go with include and I'm going to select all the apps I need. Now this can vary from person to person. You can choose the apps you need and let me do what I need to. All right. So 
on a serious note it has all the options you will ever need and you know you just don't need to debloat it later so similar option here for google apps uh, you can choose google apps or oneplus apps which you want to keep and which you don't want to keep so that is the beauty of custom roms and the reason i liked freedom os so much is it was there on 3 and 3t i used it it's one of the best and most stable rom with all the default features which are directly provided by oneplus that's a really, really nice thing now after choosing the options we're gonna hit next and let's see what we're gonna have next so there's an audio mod in there i have included that and it works really well okay so this is where all the extra mods or the serious ones come into the picture you can choose add away you can choose sound mod you can choose majesk majesk will be in the next step there you go so you can choose to install super su or you can choose to install majesk now i'm gonna go with majesk because my banking app will not work if i use super su so once everything is done enjoy the time lapse and music all right so the installation succeeded let's hit next do not tick on reboot now and go back to the home screen install select the blue spark kernel swipe to install it's a very small file so bam done all right now go back to the home screen reboot system first boot First boot will take five to seven minutes, usual stuff, but this is a very powerful phone. It booted for me in like, what, two minutes? Nonetheless, we're gonna skip that booting part. It's very, very boring and annoying. Yeah, kinda like that boot animation, but waiting for the phone to boot for the first time sucks. It sucked when it was old. It sucks when it's new. All right, let's get back to work. Yeah, so, that's the setup screen you get a google setup instead of a oneplus setup so that's the first thing that i like um you can quickly go through the setup i'm not going to set a lot of things here the good thing is face unlock is still there fingerprint scanner is still there the default oneplus camera application is still there the gallery is still there so despite being a custom rom this is more of a stock rom with a lot of custom rom goodies and that is what as i said i like about freedom os it has face unlock it will ask you to agree to the google services and we are almost done so oneplus launcher or pixel launcher i'll go with pixel launcher but i miss the swipe down gestures from the oneplus launchers but nonetheless uh, so that's a rom we are booted up both the sim cards are working and wi-fi and everything else is working Talking about some initial impressions, it's very, very smooth, especially this Pixel launcher is, the transition is much, much better compared to the OnePlus launcher. I don't know why. Anyways, um, looking at the screen, uh, what do we have? So let's talk about the mods. That's add away, removes all the ads. That's Majisk, that's a super user file. And uh, that's Wiper for Android, Substrantum. Yeah, Substrantum. So, Ever since uh, themes were discontinued, Substrantum has come into the picture. So if there is any update for Majisk, just go ahead and install it. And uh, that is basically a ROM, guys. Let's let's uh, install the update. Uh, okay, spam messages, so you can ignore that. Yeah, so let's have a look at Substrantum if we have any pre-installed themes. Normally you don't, but you never know. You never know. You never know okay grant the root access there you go substrantum launches for the first time hmm all right no errors that you know that's that's the beauty of it uh, of a oneplus device uh, they you know provide the source code and everything is open source just like android just like google intended it to be that's the audio mod there for you guys so it's very surprising that the phone has just been around for like five days today's what we are sitting on um, 25th and uh, I ordered it on the 21st which was a launch day so it's like what five days and they've already come up with a custom ROM now, I know it's very very similar to the OnePlus Find that's the reason it's easy to port ROMs and stuff but that's the beauty of Android and that is what I like so 
That is a ROM for you guys. Freedom OS for OnePlus 5T works for 64 or 128 GB. I just took you through the complete install process and a preview. Now, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned and please don't forget to participate in the giveaway. There's a very beautiful pair of earphones that I'm gonna give away on 31st of December and there's gonna be a surprise announcement for a second prize winner as well. Once again, guys, nice talking to you. Take care and see you in the next one. Goodbye.